Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second day of Vlogmas. Uh, so if you missed yesterday's episode and you want to know more about Scandinavian versus British Christmas traditions, pop over after you've finished watching this one and catch up. Uh, you can hear all about how we're a bit bonkers in Denmark and we like to dance around the Christmas tree and Christmas Eve. But today it's going to be all about food. Uh, not so much what we eat in Scandinavia at Christmas time because I'm going to come back to that later on this month. Um, but we were fortunate enough to go to Strada last night in Kingston and try out their new Christmas menu. I love food. Period. I love most food. But I haven't been to Strada for a while and I probably wouldn't have chosen to go at Christmas time because I kind of associate it with really good wholesome Italian food and nice pasta dishes. But my god have they nailed this Christmas menu. They've got the most delicious roast duck with pomegranate and orange. They've got, you know, stuffed turkey with tasty little sausages. And um, they've got a really yummy uh, polenta cake for dessert. And if you or anybody in your family is a lover of steak, I know that's not particularly Christmassy, but the steak was just so tender and it had the most delicious fries with it. I mean, everything was so good. We got to try the whole menu, so all the starters, all the main courses, all the desserts, and I would really recommend going there for Christmas. Um, you get two or three dishes for less than um, 20 pounds, including a glass of Prosecco, so you can't really go wrong with that. You probably know Strada because they're all over the UK, but what you might not know is that earlier on this year, they became independent. This means that they can now focus more on organic food, like growing their own food. They've got an olive farm in Spain, They're now getting their fish from Turkey, so it's actually coming from the sea rather than being farmed. And you can taste this in the dishes. And you could taste the natural goodness of the produce that they now use. And we had a little talk from the head chef um, at the Kingston branch, just explaining a bit more about how they are now focusing on using more of the food so there's not so much food waste. They do an amazing broad beet soup to start with, which is just kind of using the leftovers, what they have, onions and carrots and herbs and spices. And I really like that concept of nothing is going to waste. And I would say if you're going to treat somebody this December, you know, take them there um, and have a really lovely evening. Um, it's so nice to decorate it there as well, lovely Christmas Eve. Perfect for a little treat or night out or Christmas party if there's more of you. And if you want to see uh, how last night turned out, uh, you can check it out in this little clip I put together. Also, um, I think at the moment Wind in the Willows uh, is playing at uh, the Rose Theatre in Kingston and Toad had left his car outside the restaurant so I took it for a little spin. Um, I was probably over the limit so I'm quite happy there was no police around. But you can catch all of that here and I hope that you will tune in for the rest of Vlogmas. Uh, for now, just enjoy this little foodie montage. See you soon!